Bounce around Menzies. Poked up, stole it away. Loy, quick pass. Tillman off the runway. Tillman on the stop. Back the air way. Rejected. Second chance gone. Tillman. He gets stripped. Stripped right back. Bucket good. Josiah Deer ties it. Here, Smith. Six on the shot clock. Murphy. Pass around the arc until the opening happens for Bukorowicz. Playoff seating on the minds of many. Tonight, the St. Clair Saints host the Niagara Knights to close out the home schedule. I'm Justin Prince alongside me is Joe and Harmon as we get set for a battle between two of the top five teams in Ontario and in turn, Jalen, a chance in turn for St. Clair to at least lock up second seed in the West. Oh yeah, this is a statement game for the St. Clair Saints, for the Lady Saints, and also the Niagara Knights who are coming in to take over. You know what adds to the flair and excitement of Alumni Night? How about having two of the top scoring teams in the province in the building? Tonight, the St. Clair Saints host the Humber Hawks in a battle of two of the top teams in the OCAA. I'm Justin Prince. Welcome to tonight's action from the Sportsplex here in Windsor as alumni fill the stands this evening. Tonight, both teams expected to have a lot of firepower. Both teams averaging 77 points per game entering tonight. Lots of expectations from both sides. So this is big when it comes to getting Caitlin Overeem back or running a double-double. Barely made four seconds through the third quarter before having to be substituted out for those who missed. First is good for McClurowitz, meanwhile. So far, the Saints, one miss from the free throw line. They've attempted at least a pair a quarter. Ball for good this time, they lead by six. Largest lead for them since the early stages of the second quarter. Bounty, working with one. Here we drop by the Hawks on the outside, worked around by Korovitz. Now Bounty, voids one reach, seven on the shot clock, but caught on the travel. St. Core basketball. And the student section coming alive. Coming up to one minute into this fourth quarter of play here on Weed Digital Productions and on Weed Digital CA. St. Clair leads 58-52. Murphy outside Caitlin Overing. High screen from Smith. Smith gets a pocket open for the jumper splash. Smith joins the double-digit point club. That's 11 points for her tonight. Poke loose up top. Smith with the steal. Wide open on the break. Gets it. Timeout. Hummer. And the St. Clair Saints go on a quick 6-0 run to start the quarter. They lead by 10. Remember, tomorrow, we talked about the struggles of the Bruins women's team. They have a chance coming in. See if they can pull off an upset tomorrow. They start at 2 p.m. The men's teams take to the court at 4 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to tune in. Once more, we digital at CA. Watching along for tonight's action, a shout out to the Casera twins, Logan, as well as Jenna. Just been informed they're watching along for tonight's action, part of their pro campaigns out in Portugal. Both of them taking part in their coverage, in fact, just earlier this year for the provincial championships here from the Sports Black. So shout out to them watching along tonight from Europe. A 10 point lead being for the Saints, 62-52 is the score. A 6-0 Saints run to start the quarter. And so far, the offense has been flying. Let's see how this quarter finishes out. Bounty worked up from the top. Looks back now to the high post. Move down to the low block. Back outside. Crawford drives. Draws whistle. Collins. Lily Collins caught for a second personal. Team first. 
And Crawford now goes to the line to shoot for two. Crawford, 15 minutes left so far. Gets her first point there. She has contributed to a couple assists. 0 4 3 from the field. Bronson's trip. Second's good. Came it over him. Directing traffic from the right block. From the right wing, rather. Now left wing, Smith. Came it over him from the top. Goes from the mid range. No good. Not able to make the shot from about 18 feet. Back up goes Kia Watt. Bounce out. Last touch by the Hawks. Turned over. Trying to go for a quick pick and roll set for Chateau. Just past two minutes into the fourth quarter, 62-54. St. Paul the score. Smith works from behind the play. Murphy swung back out, but Korowitz wide open for three. Yes! 